update on the changes I've made for the mobility scooter I just got. I just added these bumper stickers so that when people see me driving on the sidewalk, they know what it is. I literally just did those right now. Um, this one I put a few days ago. This one's a little bit smaller print than the ones on the side, but you, you get the gist of it. On the inside, I just added these pocket thingies. Um, I have little air fresheners that I put on both sides. Um, only thing I'm waiting on is, um, yes, I'm getting a little bobblehead. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. Probably over here somewhere. Um, and then seat covers. I have something for this seat. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with this bench seat. Um, so in the meantime, I don't want to take these plastics off. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated as I, as I go along. Hi you guys. Welcome to a chromatopsia and the saga that is my life. Um, I just showed you guys a clip of what um, my mobility scooter looks like and the changes I've made. Right now, I am currently in the scooter. Pretty spacious back there. Um, but yeah, um, I wanted to um, let you guys know that um, ever since I got the mobility scooter, I've been sharing a lot of videos on it, um, whether it be on my Facebook page or um, especially on TikTok. I know I need to like keep up with these YouTube videos and trust me, I'm, I'm going to be working on it. But um, something I wanted to say specifically to like, um, how do I say this? Like this little community of ours, it's because um, a group, you know, it's for people that either have a chromatopsia or have children that have a chromatopsia. So I feel like you guys um, understand that um, I've been trying to make these videos to share about the scooter, not to show off or like um, do the whole look at me type thing. I'm literally like I vowed, <laughs> I vowed that um, when I first started researching the scooter and when I ordered it, that um, when I get it, I'm going to make tons of videos like about giving information um, about the scooter because when I was looking into videos about this scooter, um, it's called a Q Runner Mobility Scooter. It was really hard to find um, people that own it that are giving like reviews about it and are letting you know what it's like like on a day to day basis having one of these. Um, I kept finding videos from like manufacturers from like salespeople basically. Which is nice, but I want to know from people that actually have this. So, uh, like I said, um, when I was waiting for this scooter, it took over a year for me to actually get it. Um, I vowed that as soon as I got it, I was going to, like, go crazy and put all kinds of information out there. Because, um, like I said, I had a hard time finding it, and I really do, really, really do want to put it out there that there is stuff like this scooter that can help people like us. Um, this mobility scooter is obviously like for disabled people or elderly people, um, or just people that, you know, want to drive around their little neighborhood and not waste gas. It's electric, so, you know, all you gotta do is just plug it into the wall, regular wall outlet, and you're good to go. But it's really, really, really important to me to let um, people like us, you know, know that there's things out there that can help us. Um, I know I struggled a lot with either having to walk everywhere or getting the bus or getting transportation or just bugging people all the time um, about getting rides everywhere. And while um, even with this scooter, I still sometimes have to do that depending on how far or where I need to go. Um, having a mobility scooter has significantly cut that down so I get to be independent and do things on my own. Um, as most of you know, before all of this mobility scooter stuff, I used to travel with a bicycle that um, I attached a little bike trailer to and that's how I would take my son to and from school. Um, those little trailers are for, uh, I think, toddlers, but I had a, a sixth grader <laughs> sitting in the backseat of one of those and I was hauling him around. Um, school, the grocery store, just anywhere I needed to go and needed to take him, that was my mode of transportation. 
And the weather here in Texas is ridiculous. It's either too hot, too cold, windy, it snows, it rains. It's just pretty unpredictable. So having to constantly um, use a bicycle was just not, not for me. It was not fun. Um, but you know, like I said, at the end of the day, I really value my independence. So I got to do what I got to do. Um, from the bicycle, um, my mother-in-law bought me a, a mobility scooter that looks like a regular scooter, but it's for the sidewalk. So it only goes 15 miles per hour, and it's supposed to be only for the sidewalk. You're not supposed to be driving on the street because it goes too slow. Um, but anyway, I've used that the past almost four years now, and it's been working out great. Um, the only downside about it is that it's still open to everything, so I still have to deal with the weather. Um, when it's raining, the old mobility scooter I have is basically um, like a fancy two-seater electric wheelchair. So it's not supposed to be weatherproof. It's not meant for bad weather. So every time it would rain, I'd freak out that something was going to happen to my mobility scooter because it was very expensive and I want to take care of it. So anyway, moral of the story is since finding this mobility scooter, it's an enclosed mobility scooter, um, life has... <laughs> significantly changed for me because it's closed it's completely closed to the elements um it's just it's a, a mobility scooter on the inside like i said it looks like a car on the outside but it's it's a mobility scooter um but anyway it's it's <sighs> gratifying and fulfilling doesn't even cover it it's just like a godsend to have this because it protects me and my kids from the weather, from the rain, from the wind, um, from the heat. Um, it doesn't have AC, but it does come with a, a heater. It comes with a Bluetooth radio. It comes um, when you uh, go press reverse right here on the little handlebar thing. It has a reverse button. When it goes reverse, a little screen comes up and you have a rear view camera. Um, oh, I plan to put a rear view mirror right here. Um, but my point is, this is life changing. Um, and I don't know how the rest of you guys are, but I, I love doing things on my own. I'm very independent. It gives me so much pride to be able to, to do simple everyday things that I feel like the entire world takes for granted, like taking your kids to school, um, going to the grocery store running errands, going to pay bills, like just basic everyday things, um, going for a stroll like a drive around the park. You know, people like us don't really have the option of doing that. Now, I know lots of people out there with a chromatopsia do um, with like glasses and other things. You guys are able, depending on your city, to get a driver's license and that's great, good for you. Um, that's amazing, I'm happy for you guys. Um, but then I feel like there's another group of us that either feel like we can't uh, handle something like that or just don't want to um, drive because our vision is so, you know, not great. Um, I'm one of those people. I understand my vision and I, I just wouldn't feel uh, comfortable risking myself, my kids, or the public driving, even if I had assistance um, with glasses and everything. I just... I don't want to be in the street. Um, I'm perfectly comfortable sticking to the sidewalks. I feel safe on the sidewalk. I know what to do. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to share a little bit about the scooter because, like I said, I feel like there's an untapped um, like group of people that would really benefit from a scooter like this. Not just the elderly people and not just the disabled people. I mean, we are visually handicapped. We are visually disabled. But... Um, I just want you guys to know that there's stuff like this out there that can help you. Um, like I said, this is a mobility scooter. It's meant to be driven on bike lanes or sidewalks only. I don't really trust the bike lanes, so I stick to the sidewalks. Um, I've never had an issue. I've never had any close calls. Um, it's just something that brings me freedom. And like I said, this is not meant to go fast. It's a mobility scooter. So the top speed is 15 miles per hour. Um, I don't ever go that fast unless I'm crossing like a street, but on the sidewalk, I go maybe six or seven miles per hour. Um, people that are running by me pass me all the time. So I'm not, you know, flying down the sidewalk. I'm not going to hit anyone. Um, I'm going slow enough, slow enough where I'm driving a little faster than walking, but I'm also 
um, can be, you know, stopped if I need to. Somebody just jumps in front of me. I'm able to, you know, not hit someone. But, um, yeah, I just want to, like I said, to tell you guys about the scooter. It's called a Q-Runner Enclosed Mobility Scooter. Um, it cost $8,895. I got it from a website called Electric Whispering. Um, there's lots of other websites you can get it from. I just so happened to get it from Electric Whispering. Um, they do offer financing. Um, yes, it is a very, very expensive mobility scooter, but... For someone like me, for someone that sees like me, um, this is truly the closest thing to a real car I'll ever come. So um, a lot of people are giving me a hard time, uh, specifically on social media. Um, for that much money, you could just get a real car. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. Even if someone were to gift me a real car, that doesn't mean I'm going to be able to use it. Um, I, I told people, like, you know, even if someone were to gift me a BMW or, like, a Lamborghini or just a regular car, it doesn't mean I'm going to be able to use it. I can't legally get a driver's license. I'm legally blind. I legally cannot drive. So, this, like I said, this is my only option. Um, I don't want to go back to riding bikes. My old mobility scooter was great, but like I said, it kept me open to the elements, which was not great. Um, a lot of people are very judgy about this mobility scooter. I don't understand why. I feel like us visually handicapped people struggle so much with life as it is, and normal sighted people have so many luxuries that they just don't appreciate because it's all they know. Um, but anyway, like I said, I wanted to share this with you guys to know that there's something like this out there. Um, and yeah, uh, I hope to make more videos about it as I, I fix it up and make it, you know, more my own. But yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys about my, my little scooter and how much it truly has changed my life and how much I love it and that I highly, highly recommend it to everybody out there.